Okay, everybody. Welcome to the first C++ tutorial brought to you by the CSTutoringCenter.com. So, this first tutorial, we're just going to discuss what C++ is and see a very basic program. C++ is called a high-level programming language. Okay, it's obviously much cleaner to see and use than its cousin, the assembly language. It was developed back in the early 1980s, and C++ is actually a take on the C language, which is its predecessor, and you will see why in a later tutorial. Okay, so our first example here just shows the very basic program that everybody sees in every one of their courses. It's called the Hello World program, and here it is underneath that bullet point. So the purpose of this program just makes it print a message to the screen. So now we'll break down the program into parts. First part is the include IO stream library. The IO stream is the main library that is used for input and output, as it's called IO, to a program. This library for the purpose of all the programs we will write will be used every time and it always appears at the top of a program okay, in what's called the header. The header is everything before the main function and it is imported with the use of the pound include keyword. Now a keyword in C++ is something that turns blue uh, if you're using a fancy editor. It's a reserved word that uh, is used by the language. Next we have the namespace. It stands for using the standard namespace. Okay. And it will allow you to use C out and C in when needed. Uh, if you do not declare this statement, the code will get very ugly when trying to use them. Okay. Uh, you'll see why toward the very end of our tutorials. Okay, so to continue we have the main function. Now the main function will always start every program you ever write. Okay. You must include a main function for a program to begin executing. If you do not have a main function the program will not execute. Okay. So when you're trying to compile it nothing will run. And for now, just know that it must return the value 0. More on this when we do functions in a later tutorial. Next, we have the output statement itself. Okay. And this line deals with the output using the Cout stream. Now, endl at the end of it stands for end line and is used to output the new line character. Okay, to format the output and make it look nice. When using the C out, the what I call the out operator is used. Okay. It's two less than signs side by side. Okay, there cannot be a space between them, it's consecutive. And this must always be used for C out, there are no exceptions. Okay, so now we're actually going to see that program run. And you're going to see here, this is called the Visual C++ Editor. Uh, it's one of the many that are out there. There's Borland C++, uh, Dev C++, among, you know, thousands of others. Uh, what, what I would think to be thousands. Uh, so I'm not really going to go into the specifics of this. Uh, just know that you can get it for free. It's uh, off of the Microsoft Visual Studio Express website. Um, install, it's very easy to install. So you have your program here. Notice it's a, in the highlighted area, it's a .cpp file. That file is the source code, as it's called. Okay, so that file will actually hold your code. 
Now we have a program typed out here and as you can see because it's a fancy editor I mentioned that it turned blue. The include, well the pound include is blue, the using namespace is blue, int is blue, return is blue, so all of those are reserved keywords. Uh, and what this line does, the only difference between the slide and this one is the system pause. Uh, for this editor it allows you to see the output before the little window disappears. Okay, So we're just going to for every program we write, at least with this editor, uh, the very last or next to last line will be this. Okay. okay, so now we're actually going to run the program by hitting the little play button here. And it says, would you like to build? Yes. Okay. Now it's compiling. And there we go. We see hello world here outputted to the screen. Now, you may be wondering, well, what if we didn't have the end line? Okay. So simple enough, we'll take out end L. And you'll see what happens. Notice that the press any key to continue is on the same line as hello world. And now, what if we take out this? It's going to happen really quick. Nothing. Okay. So that's why I said just for this editor, system pause is there to allow you to see the output. Okay, so now the syntax of the language, as mentioned, everything in C is lowercase. Well, what is everything? Well, all the built-in keywords. Okay, we have C out, which we've seen, C in, which is its cousin for input. We have int, namespace, using, etc., and everything else that's pre-built to C++. And also know that semicolons end lines of code. You must always include semicolons at the end of a line, otherwise you'll get errors. Okay, and the conclusion is that tutorial will, 2 will be on variables and continue the building blocks of programming. Please take the time to go to cstutoringcenter.com books to read about a review book reviewing C++.